in today's matchup, we have Leatherback versus the Behemoth. Leatherback comes into battle standing at around 267 feet tall and being a category 4. And Behemoth is standing somewhere around 300 feet tall. There's no official height, but Behemoth is standing somewhere around 300 feet tall. It's definitely a good matchup for multiple reasons. These are both two kaijus that are very similar. Both have a similar anatomy to a gorilla. Behemoth is a little bit of a gorilla. I know Behemoth is a lot of different creatures. It's kind of a mammoth sloth, Bigfoot type thing. It does have a little bit of gorilla type DNA look to it for sure. And Leatherback totally walks around and runs around just like a gorilla. And it definitely has the overall look of a gorilla for sure. Leatherback comes into battle with the electromagnetic emission which will be useless in this battle, but I thought was still worth mentioning that it is a very high-tech kaiju. Leatherback has armor-plated skin, a strong bite force, and claws, and Behemoth comes into battle with fireproof fur, and Behemoth also has the tusks, which is probably its best weapon. We didn't see them really used that much, but it's definitely one of his best weapons. Just like Leatherback, Behemoth has the claws as well on the front limbs, just like a sloth does. And as far as what these kaijus actually did in the movies, obviously Behemoth has very little screen time, so it's very hard to tell how strong this kaiju really is. But Leatherback, as far as what he did, he came in the middle of the battle with Cherno Alpha, destroyed Cherno Alpha, and now Cherno was injured, but you saw a move like this. <laughs> totally destroys Cherno and really rips it apart and crushes the compod and destroys Cherno there. Leatherback was also able to throw Gypsy miles away after Gypsy ripped the electromagnetic emission off. Leatherback threw Gypsy such a far distance that it's very impressive and shows how strong Leatherback really is to be able to throw Gypsy that far away. And Leatherback was also able to take many punches from Gypsy, many punches, which shows great durability. And Leatherback was also able to use a crane against Gypsy, which is a major strength, means that Leatherback can use the environment around him just like King Kong. And as far as what Behemoth did in Godzilla King of Monsters, really you just see Behemoth walking around for the most part but you do see Behemoth take out a building with the tusks, which is obviously something that I thought Behemoth would be able to do. And really with the sharp ends of the tusks, those could be a major problem for sure and could be useful in trying to stab Leatherback sometime in this battle. But as far as if these two were lined up with all the stats, I feel speed and agility has to go to Leatherback. I know Leatherback had a lot more screen time, but just from what we've seen, Leatherback is far quicker and more agile than the stuff we've been able to see him do. Behemoth, really, the only things we've seen him do is walk around. He's looked very slow, even taking out the building. Now, he was not taking on any live creature, but from what we've seen, he's been moving very slow. So speed and agility definitely goes to Leatherback. Size goes to Behemoth because Behemoth is taller as far as what I know. And resourcefulness has to go to Leatherback, and that's a big deal because that's one I gave to Kong. And the fact that Leatherback can pick up items around him and use it in his in battle is a big factor. And that is something that will definitely come in handy in this fight. And defense goes to Behemoth because of those tusks. Those tusks will be very good at defense and really keeping Leatherback off of him. And as long as Behemoth keeps Leatherback in front of him, those tusks will really be able to defend himself and keep Leatherback off of him. And even maybe puncture him. And deadliness was a very difficult one because... I feel both of these kaijus can be very deadly. Obviously, they're both massive creatures. They both have the anatomy of gorillas. But really, deadliness I had to keep in the middle because we haven't seen... Leatherback has been very deadly as far as damaging an injured Jaeger. And we've seen what Leatherback's been able to do, but I just don't feel that Leatherback can get the deadliness factor because he didn't take down an actual Jaeger in full form. And as far as Behemoth goes, Behemoth it looks like an absolute monster and looks like it can be very deadly. But we did not see Behemoth do much in that movie, so that's why deadliness has to go in the middle, as far as I'm concerned. But really, where the winner comes out in this battle is Feats. And Feats goes to Leatherback, so Leatherback just has to get this win. Leatherback, we've seen him do way too much. He jumps far out of the water, has the agility and speed with that scene alone. Leatherback just has to get this win. I feel if we would have got more scenes of behemoth doing something and would have changed it but as far as how quickly behemoth moves if that if that's really how quickly he moves the speed of more like a sloth then i still think leatherback would be far too quick and will eventually get enough hits on behemoth to kill him but i do think behemoth could definitely make some damage with the tusks and could potentially kill leatherback but i feel leatherback has the better chance of winning and is too fast and has the armor plated skin so i don't know if the tusks would really be able to puncture him or not but I'd have to give the win to Leatherback in this fight. But make sure you let me know down below who you think will win in this matchup. 
and what matchup I should do next. A lot of suggestions I'm always writing down, and there's certain ones that I, I promise you I will get to. There's certain things that may delay them longer, like watching certain shows or movies. But I definitely am looking at all your suggestions, and I will try to do as many as I can, I promise. Make sure you let me know down below what you think of this matchup, and thanks for watching.